Hey, it's Beano Black, folks. Basically, I had to make this video just because I had some wild telemetry that I didn't need to share with you. And I'm pretty sure, you know, to most people, it'll be of uh, likeness that the idea that I share it with you. And the data on the right is good, but more importantly, we got this data over here on the left hand side. We're going to take a look at yeah, if I can get this here to a program to hang on a second. And this is what we got going wild, as you can see. And I'll, I guess I can go up a little bit more in size, but as you can see, the I'll talk while I'm zooming it up somewhere. I want to see what zoom I put it at. I think I, yeah, I got 200. Oh, no, I'll hit 400. So check out all that resonating off the front and on the side of it. This was made at that UTC time there, so now I'm going to end up refreshing. Actually, I should have just kept on because I can keep on. i got to start cataloging these and be able to show them all and give you almost a day's run of what's going on. But you see that wild? And then check out all the red. Then I'll be able to stretch back a little bit here if I see how far. But you can see how far that... Uh, Sorry about that. Didn't mean to bump that in there. I ain't gonna take time to edit that. Just gonna. I'm just basically showing you this because this is just some wild action that we got off of it. We were really hot rodding. I mean, we've been zooming. Now let me go down a little bit. I'm gonna go back down to like 200. Well, actually, I think I can slide it across and watch what's been going on with our tail. You see how we bulleted? I mean, we shot forward. Because we do pretty much rifle like a bullet. And this kind of exaggeratedly shows it, but we really sped up because mostly we've had a broad tail going through space. And as you see, we did some wild movement today. When we did that wild movement, we got those earthquakes, those Alaska 6.5, so forth and so on. So this is just, and you can see the, the red is that CME more than likely coming in from the sun. So it hits our plasma field. And as you can see, we do a lot of ripping. The sun ain't gonna let us go, as you can see there. Those are all magnetical lines that are flopping around. The ones that are north and south, up and down. All these here blue lines here, okay? As you see them doing a big old frazzle back here, they're catching us. The sun's catching us and ain't going to let us go. So, pretty wild data I had to show you. Now, we're gonna, I'm going to uh, pop down and see what, what else we got fresh. Now, there's all kinds of different megahertz, and I can go and show something like from 5 to, to 20 megahertz. So, basically, we, the, I'm interested in the higher stuff because the idea that it could make ocean waves move and so forth and so on so you can see this time frame ahead on this one here and i think i had it playing too before earlier then it'll start back up playing but i got the fresher one over here and it's still moving and playing and that's how much it shifts around and this is the same spot here here but basically it's over australia and then you see the other right hand side of it over the front side of australia here so this is the same spot as you see now, or well, this was earlier than doing the action here over Australia. So that's that heat that they're getting over there in Australia. And more than likely, they're getting some, I mean, it's actual factual. They're getting 20 megahertz of absorption through the ionosphere. Okay, So there's a star out in space that is doing more than just what the sun is doing. Or if you want to say, that, okay, the sun's doing this, but it's not. There's this, actually a star out in space that's doing this. There is a star that is giving it er, a frequency, okay? Basically sunlight or a electrical charge at the frequency of 20 megahertz, okay? So that's pretty damn strong. 
you can hear that if you're a ham operator you should be able to tune into that frequency you could actually listen to that okay so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give us another uh, cut of the magnetosphere here see what we got going on there but this is some wild action that's going on and this is still we're getting uh, 20 megahertz frequency over here and I'm beginning to wonder if this is what is coming up and affecting that volcano in Japan too is what I'm wondering or it's tied in with this whatever out in space doing that coming through our ionosphere there and also there's something combined with maybe a lot well actually factual when you watch all those video links on it on the bottom everybody even on this video you go down and you open up the show more tab I've got the video cameras from that volcano over there and that volcano just blew up uh, was it Sunday it was Sunday or Saturday it blew again so and you search the internet and there there's uh, videos of it so let me get the magnetosphere cut so now the earth is calmed down into a this is the most recent I've got here in it plan we've calmed down into a lot better recent but you can still see we're getting a lot of we're just kind of doing a a head dive pretty fast too getting some red on the front might just be the CME hitting us so from off the sun it might be the the last of the CME that's coming off the front You should be able to see that pretty good and I'll pop up the 400 real fast so you watch this head area here and see all this friction that's coming off of our aurora, off our plasma in space. And if I can get it to pump up here real fast, I know. I just wanted to share this data with people so that the idea they see this because this is some pretty wild action and more than likely that is a CME coming in on the front of Earth as we do our 66,000 plus mile an hour dive through space as you see that on the head of earth going there so it'll be interesting to see how our aurora and I'll go ahead and go to another one to be able to see a lot more of what's going on and I figure I get this buoy action here too and so you take that here of what we had and basically we hit, end up with something like a uh, I'm figuring 3.2 feet in a meter okay so you got right here to this point here we pretty much have four meters so 12 foot there's possibly a very good possibility that they had 12 foot wave uh, if I go into the details on it the other one out farther to the Lucian side was uh, hang on so I'm kind of surprised they didn't put out some kind of a tsunami warning because the idea that even if you figure here 7 8 and 9 and it's almost to the 30 so even if you just knock off the point two on every meter that's three feet you got nine foot wave at least that they ended up with they should have gotten a nine foot wave out of this okay and this is basically what I'm talking about is when they had the 6.5 quake in, in Alaska today, which is, yeah, still today because it's still early p.m. here. And as you can see, up, down, up, down, up, down. I mean, pop, 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 pop. So overall, no matter what, they should have gotten, and I can pop back here real fast. And basically, I'm checking these buoys here. Bring up the map a little bit. And I was looking at these buoys here. And I had also checked out to here too, and I was like, wow, there's a pretty good side wave even going this way. So I'm pretty sure that they should have gotten a pretty good ripple or a little noticed a little bit of wave action down in Hawaii, you would think too, but the, they're not they haven't went off. And I've refreshed this too. Well actually I should should refresh this, see if we got anything new. Because I was wanting to show you most of the space data on what was going on with the earth us going through. What we were going through there is you can see that data back it up and that's about all we have it's just these ones here along here that were affected so they should have got some waves on as you can see from the from the data and why i was taping here basically we have a 6.0 that was in chile and a 5.1 up in northwest territories canada so 
There's the Ecuador action. Uh, and actually, I should go check and see if the 6.0 does anything kind of, because basically when they've been getting those quakes down there, I checked a while back here, and they got some uh, waves off of what they've had earlier or in, down in uh, South America. And I see if I could pop down here and give you some of the Alaska action. That's the most recent. And then there was a bunch of stuff that didn't show. And there's the majority of everything that happened up in Alaska today. And as you can see, 6.4. But we had a 6.6. .6. Okay. And there was a 6.5 here. We didn't get any depths on them. But I basically, I ended up seeing 10 on a lot of other stuff that I could look at. So a lot of action up there in Alaska and those had those buoys going and basically it's all from the motion of what we're going through space. Earth goes through space like I show you with that magnetosphere. And remember this is the sun's over here and because this is the earth right here and this is the lit side of, of earth towards the sun over here. Okay, That's the earth right there and that's the dark side of earth right there in the nighttime. At 4 12 420 UTC as the clock runs here. Okay. Then over a fireball, and then basically you can see the address up here on the window. Always watch on full screen. And here's the uh, abbreviations, and I'll go ahead and go to the chart, and then you can, and I won't babble through saying which one of you match up the NID in the, in the initials here that you see. And I'll give you a chart, and you can tell which uh, body they're out of. And we'll switch over to live view here real fast. And actually, I just screwed up because I wanted to show you. They got a nice new radar there. And I'll pop back to that real fast. And basically, it's not really showing up on the live shots right now. But I could see there wasn't anything jumping out at me there. And I'll slide down. And then, like I say, you, you look up these initials here on the deal I'll throw up real fast here. And so we got some nice new radar that they have. Blip. Every one of these, they got... They track every one of these little dots. And I had to show you this. This is like 23 million miles away. And check that out. See that? What did that? 23 million miles away. Because you can go and hit on the deal. And I figured it out. And I could be wrong. But I figured that out a while back here. But hit play again. And you'll see that break up. So way the hell out in space. And that's from Fireball here. And basically I can go ahead and get out of that because I pretty much got that in the video here now. And then we'll go to tonight's stuff. And it's going to be this top object. And as you see how these frames, basically I played you this video right here is what I played. And then all these caught it. Actually this angle might even be a little bit more spectacular from Tulsa. Matter of fact, I'll click that up real fast just for the heck of it. But uh, I'll go back to this, and because uh, this is the same object down here, so that was, that com comet or meteorite was pretty something awesome to look at. And there's some other bigger ones down here too. As I scan down, there's going to be another bigger, broader headed one, even than that one there. There's another one I thought right there. There's this one here is pretty big, broad headed too. So there's lots of stuff on Fireball that you can see. That's a nighttime sky out east. So it looks like the video's up. We'll go ahead and take a look at this real fast. I'll just click it. I just wanted to show you for darn sure, show you that. Dude, that one does a pretty good wild job there too. So I just wanted to show you for sure what we're going through space and then what we're getting a real good uh, show. And then, and then you match up those initials and then it'll give you the meteor shower that we're getting and this is the ones we get in November and December okay so you match up these initials with the initials on the radar chart and there's your meteor showers on the radar from fireball so you match up those initials with that chart back up to that and I'll put that on last again and then you'll know and you can go in and go to this website address that I've got up there for you right there Maybe it shows up better when I do that, I'm not sure. And then you can click on all these days over here and see all and view all the movies and look at all the slides and look at all the pictures. And then you can also go ahead and get your distance. And like I say, I believe I'm pretty darn sure that this was 23 uh, million miles out at 0.276 AU. Okay. And this will tell you what meteor shower. When they don't have it listed, they don't know which one it is yet.